Hi, this is Dan Dawson of Dawson Wine Advisor, and I am tasting two wines from Reed Holland Winery. Santa Cruz Mountains, uh, Peter Martin Ray Vineyard, Santa Cruz Mountains Chardonnay, and then Deep End Anderson Valley Pinot Noir, both 2018 vintages. This is a four part video. I'm going to taste each of them uh, just opened, and then I'm gonna come back to you a few hours later and taste them again after they've had time to breathe. I find that sometimes it's hard to give you a good evaluation just open, but I like the effect of seeing, of you seeing me open the bottles. So Peter Martin Ray Vineyard, Santa Cruz Mountains, 2018, $60 a bottle, 250 cases made. This is mystical land up here at Peter Martin Ray. Nutty, kind of a roasted nut, roasted almond. Um, some deep smells for it. Um, roasted lemon peel. Something brooding and serious in this. I, I keep on going back to roasted, roasted peaches. Baked apple, something deep. Mm. All over the place and then coming together, baby. Richness of fruit, perk of citrusy acidity. Nice frame of oak to it as well. I was expecting a little bit more acidity in the wine. It's, there's plenty of acidity, don't get me wrong, but it's so nicely integrated. I'm gonna come back and talk about it um, again in a couple of hours, but I don't necessarily have to. I am surprised how delicious this is when it was just opened like this. That's part one. Now, Reed Holland Pinot Noir Deep End and Anderson Valley 2018. Deep End refers to the uh, most northwesterly section of Anderson Valley, coolest climate, uh, about 10 miles from the Pacific Ocean. Seriously good Pinot Noirs come from there. I've just learned about those in the last few years. So this is Reed Holland's Deep End. It comes from three different vineyards. 2018 vintage, $60 a bottle. Snappy cherry, cranberry, raspberry, dried rose petals, a little bit of baking spice, more floral things I can't put my finger on quite yet. That's why this is a two-part tasting. Ripe cranberry, jasmine, a little bit of ginger. A little spice in there too. Vibrating acidity, like that, vibrating. Um, which is not yet integrated into the wine. When I try it in a couple of hours, let's see where that goes. I, I know where it's gonna go, it's, it's gonna get into the wine. Um, already long on the finish, I'm still tasting it. Uh, red fruits, a little bit tight um, in the in back of my my mouth right there, in there. Um, savory, earthy as well. Uh, big winner. Okay, so that's the end of part two. Thank you. A couple hours have passed and now we're going to retry the Reed Holland wines. This is the Chardonnay. You can see the sun is uh, hit this chair right now. So I got the shades on. So Martin Ray Vineyard, Santa Cruz Mountains. I'm going to put the wine there in the shade. Still smoky, earthy, but the fruit has come through more, the lemon pear. Mm. Even more round, delicious. I think I get a little more acidity now than I did when it was first opened, which is odd, but really cool. Uh, toasted pear again. Um, I think I've got that toasted nut thing I was getting at first, like toasted uh, almond slivers. Bingo. A little caramel, preserved lemon, caramelized lemon. 
world-class Chardonnay yumminess right there. $60 a bottle. Okay, uh, here's the Pinot Noir. Boom. Deep End, Anderson Valley, 2018. Now, having breathed for a couple hours, what was snappy when it was first opened is now a little bit riper, a little bit deeper. Darker berry, a little bit of blueberry, black raspberry, black cherry. Um, that dried rose petals that I got when it was first opened has now come through the entire wine. Um, really integrated rose, spice, earth, fruit. Tannins have subsided a little bit. Definitely more complete. It's going to open up more, no doubt about it. Um, um, medium body, which is just perfect for what it is. I still want this with the classic Pinot Noir dishes, grilled salmon and duck and all that goodness. Um, $60 bottles, $60 a bottle as well. So 60 for the Chardonnay, 60 for the Pinot Noir. Uh, Reed Holland Wines. Learn more about them in my newsletter at DawsonWineAdvisor.com. Thanks for watching. Take care.